randomly playing music rarely creates a popular station. There needs to be some structure to how a station plays music. Your winning formula, basically. This starts with quality content organized correctly. This brief guide will introduce you to everything you need to know to properly and efficiently organize your music and content in preparation for implementing your winning formula. A professional station usually has a mix of content, music, jingles, promos, station IDs, commercials, etc. The first important step is to correctly set the media type for each track. I'll first show you the slow way and then I'll show you a few quicker ways to get the job done. The best thing to do is to set the media type when you're uploading the content the first time. For more details about this, please refer to the video tutorials, the upload video tutorials available. In this section, we'll, I'll show you how to change the media type of content that's already uploaded. So let's say you've uploaded a lot of sweepers of promos and you forgot to set a media type. Here's a quick way to locate them and then change the media type. So, because we know sweepers, commercials, and stingers and jingles usually are shorter in duration, a quick way to find them is to go to the library, music. When we go to the music uh, media type, because we know that's the default assigned to tracks if you upload them without changing it. I'm just gonna expand the view a little bit here, and the other thing you need to do is go to view, and click the columns view if that's not your setting yet and then we sort by duration so the short tracks is at the top and you can see here i have one stinger of three seconds in duration that's now at the top and it's of the incorrect type now i have two options to change this the first one is to right click on it and say edit and this brings in the media item editor and now i can change the type the other thing I can do is simply drag and drop it to the correct location. So let me go ahead and do that instead. So let me say, this is for example, goes into the promo. And you'll notice it says here, I need to refresh because it's, one, it's no longer a music type. And you can see now it's disappeared here. And if I go to promo, it's now in this list. Other quick tips I can provide you is if you use a standard naming convention, like in my case, a lot of the content was called Stinger, I can simply search for that and that will give me a quick match. And now I can go ahead and edit all of them at the same time. I'll have to go through them one by one to change the media type and then save the information. Or alternatively, let's say you recently uploaded tracks I can go here to the recently added filter and see, okay, I've uploaded these tracks in the last seven days. And if I sort by duration, I'll find the short tracks I've uploaded recently. Finally, um, you can also use the duration ranges. So I know if I search for something in a free, or let's say for search for content a little bit shorter, 15 seconds or less, I found the content here. Of course, the content here might already have the correct media type but this allows me to kind of isolate the short track so i can quickly review them here's another quick tip that if you had to change the media type for hundreds or even thousands of tracks a quick and easy way to do that would be to create a new playlist let's call this stingers and then locate all the stingers you want to change. For example, here, and just continue adding them into the stingers playlist. I can also right click here and say, add to playlist and say stingers. Uh, because I did it twice, the items here will be duplicated. So all I do to here is right click and say, remove duplicates and now it only shows me the unique values. And then finally, imagine if this list contained 100 or 1,000 or 10,000 items. All I had to do to change the media type for all of them is drag and drop. So now I can go change, drag and drop this all into station ID. 
and that would change the meter type for all of these items to station ID. So that's a quick and easy way to bulk edit the meter type of your tracks. Once you have all of your content set to the correct meter type, the next phase is to create playlists and organize your content into those playlists. This we will cover in the next video. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.